Shepherd of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We into our ear that we will hear and be able to do your will holy and righteously until the end that the end you will be glorified to that father i hope myself that will speak to me that they have me with my own father oh lord give me the great night lord to speak your word at the end your thing will bless and i will bless and the name of god might be lifted in the name of jesus christ father we thank you to let the father will come against every spirit of stomachless Every of my own Holy Spirit, every of the stomach is tonight to cast them away from this vicinity. We ask, Lord, Papa, let your Holy Spirit tonight be glorified by losing your fire tonight to fortify this ministry tonight to not go on at the end. You will glorify. Thank you, Father, so the Spirit, for in Jesus, most wonderful in Jesus' name, we are praying with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. We are welcome again before our Holy Father, who have been so merciful, who have been so gracious, who have brought us together once again tonight, having gone out to a video place today. In His mercy, we are not consumed, and we we'll give thanks unto Him in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Uh, please, uh, Mr. Francis, uh, please, uh, please, uh, uh, take uh, you know charge of my time. Uh, let me know my time is off. Amen. Amen. Uh, we have um, by the grace of God, we have a short uh, teach tonight, which which all all of us are participating tonight. We are all going to be teaching together and be you know uh, doing the question and answer together tonight. And uh, tonight's topic is titled. Christianity and socialization. Christianity and socialization. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What it means, what, what it means for us to socialize, for what our boundary and what our you know uh, area that we should not go beyond, or what are the things we can do to glorify the name of God Almighty. And tonight, as we all um, do together, God we are, uh, you know, enlighten us to more and uh, increase our spiritual knowledge, just like my name. Amen. Amen. Uh, tonight, um, the member verse is taken from the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 5. Philippians 4, verse 5, and I read just like my name. Verse 5, it said that, let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Let your, you know, your uh, way of life, your way of behavior, be in moderate with the word of God, with the line of the uh, our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And tonight, and uh, if we, I uh, want to. Uh, Look about or talk about uh, what socialization means, what it means to socialize, or what is the definition of solution. Socialization means uh, the activity of missing socially with other people, with others. 
or it can as well be you know be defined as the process of uh, learning to behave you know in a way that is acceptable you know holily or you want to you know uh, classify it to, to worldly but it must be you know an acceptable manner of behavior that will not bring shame either to you, to your parents, or to the society you belong to. Praise the Lord. And by the grace of Almighty God, tonight, I will be taking my book reading. Uh, please tonight, Sister Dejoy, uh, uh, Sister Igoma Dulube, Sister Gloria Benjamin, and um, we can say, uh, Sister, Sister Mercy, please you'll be, you know, helping the Bible reading tonight. And tonight, about passage you taking from the book of uh, uh, First Corinthians, uh, chapter 6, which I'm reading from verses 12 to 15. First Corinthians chapter 6, from verse 12 to 15. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I read in my name. Praise the Lord. Amen. Verse 12. He said, All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are, are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. 13. Said means for the um brother, said means for the belly and the belly for the meat. But God shall destroy both it and then now the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord and the Lord for the body. Praise the Lord. Verse 14 said, And God had risen up the Lord, and we also raise up us by his own power. 15, the last of tonight, knowing ye not that your body are the members of Christ. Shall I then take the member of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? God forbid. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then the Bible passage that we all read is telling us that there is no way we can, as a Christian, we can mingle ourselves when we, because we say we are socializing or we are we are trying to adapt or we are trying to you know to behave socially to to for them to I mean to accept us. Then we now mingle ourselves with the ungodly or the unclean or the unbeliever or people who are serving idol it is very very much unacceptable before christ and for the body of christ praise the lord so tonight as we digest into the teaching the uh um social is to you know is social to it simply means to talk to do, I mean to talk to and do true with other people in a friendly way, which I have first of all, you know, said before in the introduction. And then there are various ways of, you know, socializing, ranging from relating with people in the immediate environment to getting involved in governance and community, you know, development. Activity, Christians socialization caught across, you know, uh, recreation, social interaction, cultural activity, and political issues. While there may be the diverse opinion on the extent of the involvement of Christians in social issues, it should be noted that moderation should be the watchword of our you know um, interaction with other people praise the lord and tonight yeah. because of god as time permit us we shall be looking you know the topic under two subheadings uh first is to look at it in the biblical way what it means to socialize biblically that is uh, the, the, the biblical uh, instances of selection, and the other one is the uh, the worldly 
perspective versus biblical perspective when we talk of socialization. Praise the Lord. And tonight, as we go, uh, please, the, the, we, we first of all look at the, the issue at the area of the biblical, you know, uh, instances of solution. The biblical, you know, uh, what is obtainable in the Bible when we talk of socialization, when we talk of people or trying to uh, 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 to be uh, involved in the the affairs of, you know, the places or the areas we are living in. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And tonight, our Lord Jesus Christ and his disciples attended a wedding ceremony at Cana of Galilee. Please, let's read the book of John, chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. Praise the Lord. And somebody wants to, uh, to go to the book of Luke, chapter 19, verse 5. Amen. And the book of Luke, chapter 10, 38 to 42. Praise the Lord. But first of all, let, let's look at the book of John, chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. I read Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Verse 1. And the third day, there was a marriage in Canaan of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Verse 2. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. Amen. Praise the Lord. I mean, this was not a worldly marriage. Amen. This was the marriage of the believers. Amen. And today, which, which means as believers, it's not all weddings that we should attend. Whether it's, it's church marriage or um, a traditional marriages, it's not all marriages as Christians we should attend because of the people, the kind of people who are there, because of the involvement of your, your, your appearances there. Amen. Christ was there with his disciples because they were there to make an impact in the wedding. That was the purpose of going there. Praise the Lord. And Hallelujah. also look at um, uh, the, 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 I mean, he's going to, to the book, I mean, to, to the house of, uh, of uh, Zach, um, Zacchaeus in the book of Luke chapter 19, verse 5. Luke 19, verse 5. Christ went to the house of you know, Zacchaeus. It is going there was not, you know, uh, to get himself involved in the past life of Zacchaeus, but to turn him around to become a new, you know, uh, uh, a, a, a new uh, child in his body. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Please, let's read Luke chapter 19, verse 5. Amen. I'm reading Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at the house. Amen. Amen. First of all, first of all there was the, 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 I mean, the, 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 the zeal of Zacchaeus trying to know Christ and try to, you know, to turn from his old way to, to follow him as a child of God, as a believer, as a born Christian. And that was the purpose of Christ going to his house to let him know that he had been accepted to his body as one of his children whom he died for, who has come to renew or to, I mean, or to, um, to, to, to bring back to the glory of God. Amen. So, meaning that if we are to be seen in any body's house or in any way, opposed to going there is to go there and preach the gospel of our Lord God to the person to change and not to go there to get ourselves involved in worldly things or uh, begin to feast on worldly with them. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And in, in like manner, Christ was also, you know, a friend to family of Lazarus, Mary and Martha. Praise the Lord. And we can find that also in the book of uh, John, I mean Luke chapter 10. Let's read Luke 10 from uh, 
38 to 42. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am reading Jesus' name. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, it came to pass as they went that he entered mm. into a certain village, and a certain woman mm. named Martha received him into her house. 39. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. 40. But Martha was com combined about much seven and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister had left me to serve alone? Bide her therefore that she helped me. 41. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. 42, the last verse. But one thing is needful, and Mary has chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Amen. Amen. Praise, praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You see that Martha, I mean, the two sisters, they were, you know, friends of Christ Jesus, and having uh, uh, seen that uh, the, the uh, Ma Ma Martha, you know, uh, we are uh, uh, trying to um, to prove to Christ that, oh, we love you. But Mary was busy studying the word of God, hearing the word of God with him. And which is the main purpose of Christ going there? He didn't go there to go uh, because maybe he didn't get where to eat or where to sleep. No, his purpose of going there is to make sure that this family are drawn back to God. Praise the Lord. Which is the which is the biblical instances of socialization. So our going out or our mission for is not for us to be uh, to be drawn or to pull away from the body of Christ, but it's for us to be able to inculcate the word of God into whosoever uh, a person we come across or whosoever house we find ourselves, you know, as a guest or, or as a visitor. Amen. So Amen. Christ going to uh, to the family of Lazarus, he's going there was to make sure that they turn, you know, to become uh, the light in that vicinity so that they can also light up the area they wear. But today, the reverse is the case. As go, we, we, we tonight will help us and we're able to, at the end, we know where to draw our boundaries in your scripture name. Amen. Um, and also, you know, Christ paid them a visit when Lazarus was dead. When, when he came, oh, Lazarus is dead. So Christ went there, but it was for a purpose. He's going there was to, 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 to show to them that the power to live and the power to bring back to life lies in his hand. Please, can somebody read the book of John, chapter 11, verse 33 to 35? Praise the Lord. John, chapter 11, 33 to 35. Amen. 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 Okay. It's a mercy. It's a mercy. I, I read in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. 34. And said, Where have ye laid him? They say unto, unto him, Lord, come see. 35. Jesus wept. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. My, my, my brethren, if we read, go on time tonight, if we read furthermore on that uh, John chapter 11, we see what later happened at the end. Christ didn't go there, you know, because he wanted to cry. He went there because he wanted to tell the people around that, look, I am the light of the world, and the power to live and to resurrect lies in me. Praise Master Jesus Christ. And at the end, he's going there to pay the colonial visit, visit, brought back Lazarus to, I mean, back to life, which make people to know that Christ is the savior of the world. Amen. So brethren, even if we are opportune to go out or maybe we are invited for, for location, except it's going to be 
an occasion to glorify the name of God Almighty. We are as Christians, we are not to be, you know, to be found in, you know, in a place where the glory of God will not be, uh, be, be, be recognized. Praise the Lord. We should not be yeah. found in a place or in the name of salvation. Maybe a friend who you know that is, is, is a Muslim. And no matter it's a, it's a fanatic Muslim, no matter what you say or what you do, there's no way he can give his life to God. Or he's a, he's a Hindu. Or he's a, he's a, 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 a Susia. Or he's, he's a, 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 what they call it, what they call it, a, a diviner. You are going there is of no use. Except if you are going there to preach the word of God and to win souls to the of Christ. Today we see people they tell you uh, when they are doing uh, either uh, this uh, Muslim uh, uh, feast, we Christian we, we go and eat and then we then it doesn't matter. And then when when it's uh, Christmas, they all come together and eat and dance together because the purpose of those Christmas. And those it have to, they all mean the same thing. They are all idolizing. They are all worshiping one idol. Praise the Lord. So they are, they are eating. They are coming together to eat together. Does it mean to them? It, it means a great uh, 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 friendship. But for you and I who know the word of God, we know that they have a complex of meeting. So it's nothing to to I mean to worry about. Amen. But uh, Amen. you as a Christian, you have to make a difference in such an occasion. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And if we look at the, you know, the uh, the the perspective of Christ in the feast of Passover, and the book of please let let, let someone talk the book of Mark chapter 14, 12 to fourteen, and somebody also turn to the book of Exodus chapter twelve from verses for, uh, 24 to twenty four to twenty seven. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because he and his disciples also participated in the feast of Passover. Let's, let's get it right from the book of Mark, chapter 14. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mark, from 12 to uh, to 14. And the book of Exodus, chapter 12, from 24 to 27. Amen. I read, amen. I, I read Mark 14, verses 12 to 14 in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 12. And the first day of the unleavened bread, when they killed the Passover, his disciples said unto him, where wilt thou that we go and prepare that thou mayest eat the Passover? 13. And he sent and he sent forth two of his disciples and said unto them, Go ye into the city, and there shall and there shall meet you a man bearing pitcher of water. Follow him. 14. And wheresoever he shall go in, say ye to the good man of the house, the master said. Where is the guest chamber where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's going to that house also was not because there were no other houses in the in the in the, in the city to, to, to eat the Passover. But the man in question had you know a, a, a different spirit. He's, he's a man that is ready to to submit or to to to, to surrender unto God, to believe the word of God. That was the purpose of going there. It, it was not because maybe uh, there was no other place for them to eat or where, where to, to, to 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 to. I mean to to observe the Passover. But the purpose of going there is that the man had a different spirit. The man is a man that is prepared to follow and to obey the word of God. That's the purpose of going there. Amen. So if we have to be found in anywhere, we must it must be a place that the man or the woman is ready to give his life to God, or is a person that when you preach to him or her, he will surrender unto God. It's not a person you go to, or the 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 the, 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 the woman or the man who will later now convert you to, to become. You know, a, a, a fellow worshiper of their of their uh, idolism. No, we must not be found in such an area as a Christian. Our own is to give the world, and for the world to bring souls back to Christ, and not for us to start feasting people who are not to, to believe in God. Praise the Lord. Please, let somebody read the book of Ezra chapter. Ezra twelve. From 27 to 27. 
Amen. Amen. I read in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. 24. And you shall observe these things for an ordinance to thee and to the sons of ever, and the sons forever. 25. And it shall come to pass when ye be come to the land which the Lord will give you according as he had promised that ye shall keep this service. 26. And it shall and it shall come to pass when your children shall say unto you, What mean ye by this service? 27. That ye shall say, It is the sacrifice of the Lord Passover, who passed over the houses of the children of Israel in Egypt, when he smote the Egyptians and delivered our houses, and the people bowed the head and worshipped. Amen. Amen. Praise Father Jesus Christ. Meaning, Hallelujah. meaning that we are not, you know, as Christians, we are not to, you know, participate in any feast that is so-called feast of the world. Just as we are beginning the commandment in the book of First Corinthians chapter eleven, from verses twenty-three to uh, to to the to the end, that we must do this. This this is this is the commandment of God of Jesus Christ Himself. So we must do this in remembrance of Him. If you say we should do Christmas, or we should do Easter, or we should follow to to observe the moon, or to follow to to observe the uh, the, 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 the the sea, it's the same thing here. This feast here is to remember the days or the period that they were in bondage in Egypt, in Egypt, that Christ brought them out into the promised land. To remember him, to celebrate him, to give him praise for the victory he gave them over the uh, uh, the, the, the enemy. Praise the Lord. So, brethren, we are living in this world, but not to participate in so-called the holidays of of uh, of celebrating uh, uh, Christmas or celebrating, you know, one 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 idol or the other, which we don't understand the the the, the origin. And by so doing, we will bring the anger of God upon our lives. And I pray that God Almighty will help us all, and our eyes, uh, you know, uh, uh, life be open in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, but then. Our, our beloved brother Apostle Paul, you know, was always interacting with people in diverse classes of people. But the purpose of doing this was to win souls to Christ. In spite of the 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 the, the, uh, uh, the persecution he faced and all that things he faced, the world, but he was always doing what he was doing in order to win people to God. He was not going there to go and feast with them. Or to go and you know get itself a, 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 a soil with with, 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 the, with the with the idols of the land. But people he was preaching to, him, he was going to meet them because he wanted them to be born again and wanted to be won back to Christ, which is our main you know uh, primary objective as Christians to evangelize, to win souls to God, please. And also our brother Daniel. Daniel, uh, uh, okay, please let's go read the book of, uh, for, clear, for sake of clarity, let's go read the book of First Corinthians chapter 9, from verses 19 to 23. First Corinthians 9, 20, 19 to 23. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 9, 23 to 23, 23 what? 19 to 23, man. Okay. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For though I be free from all men, Yet have I made myself servant unto all, that I might get the more. 20. And unto the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews to them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might get them that are under the law. 21. To them that are without the law, as without law, be not without law to God, but unto the Lord of Christ, that I might get them that are without law. 22. So the weak became I as weak, that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men, that I might be by I might be by all means save one. Twenty three the last verse. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker there, thereof with you. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Then, you know, you know, for uh, Apostle Paul was a was a, um, a a classical example of a good evangelist. 
Praise the Lord. He, he, he said in the book, if you, if you go back to the to to verse, verse 20, he said, And unto the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might gain you know, the Jews to them that are under the law, as under the Lord, that I might gain them, you know, all under the law. The main, the, the purpose of, of his doing this is to be able to convince them to know that Christ died for them, and there is no savior elsewhere but Jesus Christ. And the book of uh, the, the same uh, verse twenty-three, he said, and and this I do for the for 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 the gospel's sake, that I might be I might be you know a, a partaker thereof with you, that at the end there will not be you know a lost soul. That they were able to, to enter the kingdom of God at last by so doing. Those that will hear, that will follow him, those that will, that will believe in Christ, that at the end of the day, they are coming to God, will not be in vain, but to enter that eternal rest on the last day, which is the main, you know, primary objective of our being a Christian. Our own is to win souls and not to get ourselves, you know, uh, 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 um, I mean, uh, committed to their to their to their ideology. The purpose of God saying, wherever you go, as you are going to Ukraine land, any country you come across, wipe them, destroy them outrightly, so that they will not corrupt you. To, today we have seen so many things that are happening today because they, they they disobey the word of God. Those that to, to, be, to be key, they said, okay, uh, maybe we will need them later. And that, as, as it goes today. They are the one now fighting against Israel. Amen. Amen. This, this, this uh, 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 what, what do you call it? People in Babylon, people in uh, in in uh, uh, the Palestinians and all that. They, today they are now fighting against them. But if they have followed, the, if they have obeyed the word of God at that time, today all this crisis that faced today will not be there. That is the same thing today happening in the world. As Christians today, if we obey the word of God and do likewise what God said, we will live in peace. And I pray that God Almighty will help us all. Just name. Amen. Um, Amen. But then, under under good example in the Bible again is our beloved brother Daniel. Daniel was a man that gave that made himself an exemplary you know lifestyle in the foreign land. And he became a sought after. He lived a life that was so, you know, uh, uh, so so different from the life of every other people in the land where he was living. Please, let somebody read the book of Daniel, chapter one, verse eighteen to twenty-one, and also Daniel chapter six, verse one to three. First of all, we read Daniel, you know, one, uh, eighteen to twenty-one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I go, I was to go, I still, I was to go Sister Sister Matthew. Matthew. I read. Sister, I don't try to read, please. I read in Jesus' name, 18. 18. Now, no, at the... That, Daniel 1, 18 to 21. Yes, sir. Okay, ma'am. Yes, 18. Now, at the end of the days that the king had said he should bring them in, then the prince of the... Then the prince of the eunuch brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar, 19. And the king communed with them, and among them all, sorry, 19. And the king communed with them, and among them all was found none like Daniel, Ananiah, Mishael, and Azar Azar Azariah. There, therefore stood they before the king, 20. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them 10 times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in his realm, 21. And Daniel continued even unto the first year of King Cyrus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Daniel had an excellent spirit himself and his, you know, uh, brothers. Because they, we want, they, they, want, they want, to, they want to, to make the king to know that, look, we are... You know, we, 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 we are the Hebrew men. We are different from the other people. We are all, what, what we are here for is to turn this thing around for God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So everything you get, no, we will not be part of it. 
we have our God we serve. And at the end of the day, they make, you know, they, they, they live a different life that, that, that brought, that made the king to be, to, be, to be astonished. He knew that, oh, so we can, there can be people like this in this, my kingdom. So where are you both from? Where, what, are you, where, what are your names? Praise the Lord. So, brethren, today, whatever we are saying, it's not for us to, you know, uh, to, to, to be so, soberly uh, 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 um, lamenting. Oh, I'm here now. Oh, this. But let us, you know, try to to, to make the, the word of God known. Let us try to, to, to make ourselves know that we are different from other people. Our own lifestyle is different. So that at the end, your, 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 your man of life or your will of life will to win souls, you know, to the birth of Christ. Amen. We Amen. also happen, you know, to Mishas and Abrigo when we turn to, to, into a local fire, but they refused even at the dime, at the, at, the, at the point of death. They said, no, oh king, we will not, you know, uh, uh, in, in, for, for, this, for, this, for this matter, we are not careful, you know, to say, uh, king, oh, uh, please, we are sorry, no. We will not obey you. No matter what happened, we will stand our ground and go and deliver them. At the end, the decree was passed that they should serve the God of Meshach, Shana, very good. Praise the Lord. They did, uh, uh, because of this one now, uh, let's let go there and begin to drink wine at the, at the Passover, at the, at the feast of, uh, of, the, of the image, the, the king, you know, uh, modeled for himself. No. Today, Christians, they tell you, okay, eh, it doesn't matter now. Eh, when we are doing Christmas, they do together. So when, we are also, when they also do their own, we do together. No. And as a Christian, we need to stand our ground. Praise Master Jesus Christ. And Hallelujah. the book of uh, chapter 6, I, for the time, because of time tonight, I will read Amen. Amen. Chapter 6, I read chapter 3. 1. Praise the Lord. Verse, 6, verse, verse 1. He said, if it uh, uh, pleased Darius to set over you know, the kingdom and 120 princes, which should be over the whole you know, a kingdom, too, and over those three uh, princes, I mean, over those three uh, presidents of whom Daniel was first, that the, 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 the princes might give account unto him and the king should have no, you know, uh, damage. Three. Then this Daniel was preferred above the president and princes because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king thought to set him over the whole, uh, the, 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 the whole realm because an excellent spirit was found in him. Have we be, be 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 appointed, you know, to look over some certain uh, 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 work or some certain area of Christendom, and we are now, you know, uh, 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 galvatizing all all around with people who are not be, I mean, who, who are not Christian. We are now found in the feast of people who are not supposed to be. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's unacceptable, and it's completely, you know. I, I, I think that's against the word of God. As Christian, let us have a boundary of our, you know, interaction with people, so that at the end we will not get ourselves involved in a case that we cannot be able to give account of. And I pray that God will help us all. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Um, and the other area tonight we are looking at is the worldly, you know, perspective versus the biblical perspective. What you know, the part of what they are doing, and what we should avoid, and the area we should not be seen at all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And, amen. Christians cannot live in isolation in this present world. That is very correct. We cannot. We cannot say, okay, but we are Christian. We don't want to. Uh, we, we, should, we, should, we should. You know, uh, 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 get ourselves out of out of the, the the country. No. But let our living there be for the purpose that at the end. The people there will be able to know that yes, these people they are they are actually Christians. Amen. And Amen. How, however, we must know when and how to draw the line between worldliness, that is sinful life, and the acceptable life 
a simple way of life, which is the holiness life, 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 lifestyle. Amen. Because mm -hmm. today, any little thing, you know, if something happens in the community, they are not looking out to people who are there. They are, they are watching you as a Christian. Oh, um, my sister, I, I saw that, that woman that day, that woman that I always took by, but I saw, I saw that day in that, in that church. Now. But people, they could be hundreds of people there. But you, that went there to go and what, 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 whatsoever that person there, your name is going to ring bell all over the, the place. That, ah, as a Christian, you're supposed to be there. What do you, what, 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 what do you, what, what do you find for, I mean, what are you doing there? Praise the Lord. This Hallelujah. is to, to, to curtail as Christian. For instance, Christians are, are, are expected, you know, to, to recreate. We are supposed to, you know, maybe uh, on holiday, yeah, we can go on holiday, but how do we spend a holiday? Where do, where, where do we spend a holiday? Which city? Which country? And what, you know, the, 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 the purpose of going to that, to that place for the holiday? These are things we need to, you know, to examine critically as a Christian. Amen. Please, Amen. let's go to the book of First Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. First Timothy 4, verse 8. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. For bodily exercise profited little, but godly is profited unto all things, having promise of the life that now is, and of that which is to come. Amen. Amen. Brethren, yeah, it is good for us to, you know, to, to socialize. It is good, as, as, as the, 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 the Bible said, I mean, the verse said, it said, for bodily exercise is profitable. Yeah. We have to do a side, but you know, today you see some, some people they say they are doing this side just as about my God said that you see their hand now, their, their hand there yeah, is almost as big as the whole body. Those are worldly practices, and such people can hardly enter the kingdom of God. God didn't say, Would you do a size? Yeah, you can walk around, you can stroll around, but it's not going to go to gym and now build yourself to become, you know, uh, uh, one uh, dreadful. A, a, a human being who is now completely different from the creator of God. Praise the Lord. That is not acceptable. Amen. And Amen. also, we are, uh, 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 Christians are not allowed to visit beer parlor, beer joint, where they drink all this alcohol, where you know they smoke and they do all sorts of things. Christians are not supposed to be there. Or go to, to, to nightclub to go and do what? As a Christian. What, what's the purpose of going to nightclub? What are you doing there? You are supposed to be found there. If you want to, if you want to do, if 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 if, if you are if you are interested, you know, in navigating, pray in your house or get some 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 prayer together, you know, and then put it into prayer as 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 navigating is 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 acceptable. But for you not to leave your house and say, I want to socialize, you are going to nightclub is completely unacceptable as a Christian. And I pray that God will help us all in your mighty name. Amen. Amen. But then, and it's also not, it's, it's also to be, I mean, to, to be avoid there, you know, participating at the feasting occasion where idols or, you know, uh, 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 other uh, images are celebrated. You know, like, like Germany, for example, there, there, there is a place in, a uh, uh, Saigon place in Pakistan where they, they have uh, the, uh, the, the, the uh, instrument which they can play with, but, it is not for Christians to go there. Because looking at the place all around it from the gate, you know that that place is made for idol worshiping. The kind of dresses they wear there, I know the kind of to do that there. And also, there are some, 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 some they do on the street, they throw biscuits, they throw, you know, uh, uh, sweets everywhere. Those things are idol worshiping. It's not biblical. Praise the Lord. And oh, Christians yeah. don't be seen in this kind of occasion because it will defy you as a Christian. Please, let's read the book of First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 28. First Corinthians 10, verse 28. Praise the Lord. Oh, I'm yeah. going to, uh, to, I mean, to be, be, be fast so that we can be able to cover up the teaching tonight. Praise the Lord. First oh, yeah. chapter 10, verse 8. I read in Jesus' name. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Neither let and sell in one day three and twenty thousand. Amen. 
Brethren, let us not, you know, commit fornication because people you see there, they are all half naked. People you see there, they are drunkard. People you see there, they smoke all kind of, you know, thing. We are not found among them. Fornication is not only by sleeping, you know, with another woman or with a girl on the bed. For all, all these things, all this other worshiping, going there, you know, to to see people who are, who are half naked, to go and start drinking or start smoking with them. These are all form of fornication. Praise the Lord. And Hallelujah. as we Christians, we are not to be found in such occasion. No matter, you know, the pressing our children are us, we should to tell them, look, these things are not our, you know, they are not either we should go to. They are not biblical. So we should not be found there. Praise the Lord. And also, you know, there are modernized, uh, modernized today carnival with stanic, you know, a symbol of stanic on the tongue. But they call it carnival. And they use it to, 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 to draw, you know, so many people to themselves, people who don't know, who don't understand what, you know, they, 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 who, who they are, they are always dragged to these places. And don't, let us just go there. We just watch, you know, let us go and uh, uh, see, maybe to just uh, uh, for, for what you sake. Yeah, like the man of God will say, by the time you are washing, before you start singing the song they are singing, you don't know. In my place, they said, uh, a mother, the mother of a child, you know, entered the dancing floor with, by, by, you know, with, with, with the side. I want to draw my children, I want to draw my picket, I want to go and draw my child out of, out of, out of the dancing hall. She will, you know, use side, 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 enter the hall. And before you know it, she starts dancing. Praise the Lord. So, <laughs> 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 Praise Master Jesus Christ. So these are things we need to, you know, to avoid as Christians. And also, brethren, we should not be found in a place where our, you know, Christianity should be questioned. Yeah, the, I saw uh, this man. He says the pastor. I saw in that deal in that uh, in, in that uh, place where they do position. What was he going there? What 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 was he doing there? Before you say, I want. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. It is to have gone. I think a word is enough for the wise. If you see here, yeah, we have we stopped. Yeah, I believe we have heard a lot. And uh, if he comes back, thank God if <laughs> we won't let us know. Amen. Amen. Um before then. Please, if you are here, you are not born again. Please, you heard it. Before you go to a place of standards, you will not know. Some people have done to hell. And uh, you, that is not born again, so you are already dancing your way to hell. So for you not to dance your way to hell, please, you must give your life to Jesus Christ. And those of us who are also born again, but we are already shaking one leg. We are not, we are not just entering to the dance, but we are just shaking the leg. Please, we need to be drawn back to God. Yes, it's going to be terrible. So as those who are not born again are saying, Father, come into my life, you that's already shaking your leg, or do like this, you need to ask God, please, this is my leg. I want you to stop shaking so that you will not start, start dancing. Amen. You know what I mean? Yes, so, sir. brother, draw me again. And please, if you know you are there, also you are not going to be please. I want to say this word after me. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, I've heard your word. I've seen the difference between worldly socialization and to be a Christian. I am worthy living in the far country of sin and iniquity. 
I repent of all my lifestyle today. And I've decided to start living my life for you. Forgive me all my sin. Wash me clean with your heat soup and purge me with your blood. I accept you tonight as my Lord and personal Savior. Come and dwell in me and teach me your ways of life. I am born again. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for accepting me. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. I pray with you for those of us who are, we are not with God anymore, but we think we are with him, but our mind have been pushed away. And this one that I've today, I welcome us again to the presence of God Almighty. And I pray as heaven is rejoicing today over us, this joy will not be short-lived in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace to run this race to the end. The grace not to dance to the music of the devil. We see that grace today in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, um, moderator, we did take some questions. And please, our contribution is also allowed. Then we stop there. Please. Shepherd of a soul, shepherd of a soul.